So, the little scorpion made a big sting. And I'm like, come on, fruit cookie. Yeah. I want to put my soap on, that's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. Hey guys, okay, thank you for clicking on the video. Now, all of you all that follow me, you know that I did a video uh, actually last night, late last night, um, Back Pat Living Pussy Poppin', and it was the third episode, and I had no clue that I would actually be doing uh, another volume today. Um, that, that volume of it actually covered some mess that went on and basically why I did not go to the blackout. Um, so here, this is volume four of Back Pat Little Pussy Poppin' and it's basically called, hey, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin of the Scorpion Show. So Kevin saw the video last night and, um, or really late last night. And let me read something to y'all because he left a comment. Okay, so let me read this comment to you. This is from Kevin of the Scorpion Show. It says, OMG, James, I wasn't referring to you, Sean, or anybody else from Vegas Gate as the haters. If it was done to me, I would go in on her too. I was just talking about the Vegas soiree on Periscope the other day. I wouldn't watch or talk about y'all if I felt negative about y'all. I watched all y'all Vegas gay videos. I felt sorry for Gator Croc. Um, she knew she was, he didn't write Gator Croc. That's me and my bullshit, y'all. Um, she knew she was wrong and she should have simply apologized from the door. I also felt sorry for her because of a lot of her videos were being thumbs down. And she got a lot of negative comments. She did. Um, so I want I wanted to encourage because we all make mistakes. That one mistake shouldn't define us. That's all. I got my own YouTube drama going on. Lord knows you do, baby. Um, I don't need any need to be in anymore. Now look, I know you're from Pittsburgh. I know you're in Pittsburgh, and I want to make. It's your Pennsylvania privilege to come to the block party on August 20th here in Philly. I would love to meet you. Bitch, you tried it with that. Now, I got a kick out of it. I did laugh about that with the Pennsylvania privilege. But now, let me say this. <clears throat> that took a lot. That took a lot. And this video is actually not about, well, you shouldn't have did this. You shouldn't have said that. You should. It ain't even about that. It's not about that. This right here, that took character to actually, you know, come and say, no, 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 and, and explain yourself because this could have went a completely different way. He could have gotten his feelings. He could have started, you know, lashing, and then we could have went into a whole nother beef, like he said. I hear what you're saying, Kevin, and, 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 and I feel you, and I feel you, and I, I'm going to take this time to actually thank old girl for her messiness because had it not been for her messiness, we would have never gotten to the bottom of that and actually got that squash. So what I want y'all to do at this time is actually go ahead and write it down because I don't know when you'll ever actually see it happen again, but write it down because today was a good day. Two black men, black, he black, I'm black, came together without fighting, screaming, yelling, and cussing at each other. Nobody got scratched. Nobody got called out their names or any of that stuff. Okay? Two black men. 
Not only was it two black men, two black gay men, okay? Because that don't happen real often. And two black fucking YouTubers. So put that in the book. Because all of that about how black YouTubers don't never get along and they can't never figure it out. Well, you just seen it happen. You just seen it happen. You just seen it get figured out and get squashed right in front of your face. And now I could have went ahead and inboxed Kevin, but I didn't because whenever I explained what was going on, I explained it on a public forum. So when the solution to that, that wasn't, you know, that wasn't hanging over came, I felt that Kevin was owed for that to be in a public forum as well. It was squash. No beef even came. So yes, the black YouTubers do know how to get along when they want to. He was an adult. I was an adult. And we came together and now that's a done deal. Now I don't know if I'll actually be able to make it to the um, the block party because I got even less time now to actually do it. It's only a couple weeks away. But I truly appreciate the personal invite, you know, to the block party. Um, and shit, wouldn't you know, I missed that Periscope. And I watch his Periscopes all the time. I miss the Periscope. But I really appreciate, me and Sean both appreciate you mentioning the soiree in your Periscope. So, yeah. The backpedaling and pussy popping thing actually flipped over and turned into something good. Which... A aha moment, like Oprah says, because I, I didn't see that coming. That blindsided the hell out of me when I woke up this morning and I seen that comment, and it made me very happy. Thank you, Kevin. Hey, it is what it is, and we proved a whole lot of people wrong today. Well, you did. You did that. You did that. Um, And as far as the other things that were actually... In with the video, which the video was actually the back backpedaling pussy popping video, volume three was really about the messy ass subscriber. So that's gonna stay there because her ass is messy. But I thank you with your messy ass. I thank you with your messy ass for uh, bringing everything together. We appreciate that. Anyway, so that's that. Thank you guys for watching again. It is what it is. And people are wrong. Black YouTubers can actually get away. So on that, I'm going to give a shout out to Miss Selvin, honey, and give it this, honey. <laughs> Dust, and I'm out of this bitch.